Hi, I'm Antonia and I want to take you on an incredible intermediate yoga practice today. Uh, we're going to do some really fun transitions and uh, some unorthodox asana, maybe like innovasana, some, some new asanas. We're going to throw in some nice binds there. So uh, just let's practice together. Let's get started. going to start in down dog. Our good old down dog. Set it up. Crawl your toes under. Lift your hips up and back. Take a moment to just pedal your feet and find your length through the sides of the waist. Press all the knuckles into the floor. Feel the traction between the arms and the legs. Make sure you're lifting the hips up and dropping the heels down. And let's flow. Inhale, forward plank. Shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, down dog. And inhale, plank. And exhale, down dog. Now inhale, plank. Lift your right leg in line with your body. Exhale, down dog. Bring your right foot to your left thigh, your nose to your knee. Inhale, plank. Leg in line with the body. Exhale, contract. And one more time, inhale. Plank. Exhale, drop your right knee down, lift your left leg up. And inhale, bend your left knee, exhale. Bring the left knee to the right elbow. Take a little bit of a twist here. And then left leg up. And left knee to the right elbow. Can you really shift into plank? Bend the left elbow. So you're propping the leg into your elbow. Inhale, up. And this time, exhale. Step your foot through between the hands. And here it is. We're going to take our first cool bind. Curl the back foot under. Thread your left forearm under the left knee crease. And try to clasp the right elbow crease. Then drop your right knee down. Lift your right foot off the floor and lift your gaze. Breathing in and out. This really stretches the psoas. And keep your collarbones nice and open and out. Now one last breath. Drop the right foot down. Press the left hand into the floor and take pyramid pose. Finding pyramid pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, forward lunge. And exhale again. Square the hips off. Feel that action of evening the hips. Left hip back, right hip front. And then keep your left foot flexed. And lunge it out again. And this time drop your right foot down. Spin it in. Cartwheel the arms into warrior two. Opening the hips. We're on the left leg first. Right? We always go on the right today. We'll do left first. Expand. Bring the hands to your hips. Even them out. Inhale and exhale, left arm up, right arm wraps around the left scapula. And then as you bend your left elbow, you're going to clasp your hands and then open and rotate the right elbow forward. This is your arrow bind. Bend the front knee. Now take a little bit of a back bend here. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhale. And then straighten the front knee. Bend your right knee. 
and take a flat back here, pointing your left elbow down. Oh, I feel so good on the lower back. We're still maintaining the arrow bind and we're soothing the spine. Come all the way up, keep the arrow bind, hinge at your left hip, take Trikonasana Triangle Pose, opening the right shoulder out. So roll your right shoulder out. Breathing in and out. And now left hand drops to the left shin. Expand and open into Trikonasana. And then bring your right hand to your left pocket. Shorten the stance just a little bit so that you lift up and you bring the hands together into the kidney bind. As you hinge at the crease of your hip, Lower your elbow down towards your thigh. So eventually you're going to be able to go into full Trikonasana. Hinge here, breathing in and out. And in and out. Left hand down, right hand down. Bend your left knee. Step your right foot close to your left. Transfer the weight back. You're fully resting on your right foot. Square the hips off. Inhale and exhale. And now as you inhale, press through all the corners of your right foot and float your left knee up to your chest. Hold your balance here. Open out. Inhale and exhale. Clasp and hold. Point your right hand down, your left hand up. Shiva pose. Find it for yourself. Take one more breath here, hold it. And then exhale, left heel down to the side of the mat. Float into a baby trikonasana, baby triangle. Reach your right arm up, relax your left shoulder away from the ear. Inhale, feels so good here to stretch the hamstring and potentially the IT band if you really go deeper into the hinge. And now we're gonna take half moon pose here because we're already set up for it. Our left hand is gonna go away from the mat and our left foot will press towards the outer edge of the mat. Find it here, float the right leg up. Flex the right foot and start to open and rotate your gaze up to the sky. Make sure that right foot is flexed. Right foot is flexed. Breathe in and out. Lower the right foot down and spin the left foot in, bend your knees, come into Malasana. Fist your hands and push the knees away with your elbows and then press your thumbs together and take that mudra into your sternum. So we're activating the thymus gland and also boosting the immunity. Bring your chin to your knuckles, stretch your neck, and now reach your arms forward and lift your butt. Flat back here, feel the power. Hands down, roll up, inhale, open up. Exhale, fold in half. Step your right leg back. Drop the right knee down. Spin the right shin so it's perpendicular to the left heel. And cartwheel the arms. Beautiful. Breathe in and out. Modified Warrior Two here. As we go into a right angle bind, threading the left arm under our left thigh and clasping from behind, opening the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. 
Roll the shoulder open, soften through your front ribs. In and out. And in and out. Left hand down. Reach the right hand all the way to the back of the mat. Flex your left foot. Now close your right chin just a little bit. So when you bend your left knee, you can clasp the top of the foot and open the left shoulder. So a moment ago we worked on the right shoulder. Now we switch to the left. So we're alternating sides. Breathing in and out. Opening the heart. Flex the left foot. Extend the leg out. Reach the arm over the head. And now as you drop into your right wrist, Keep on flexing your left foot and sliding it to the top of your mat. And at the same time, sit onto the right buttocks and then press into the left, finding that position here through a seated forward bend. We're going to clasp the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand. Here we are, swinging and opening the hip. And we're gonna do one more pose here. Step your right foot into the mat. Lower onto your left elbow. And make sure the fingertips and the elbow and forearm are parallel with the back edge of your mat, okay? And now, as you press through your right foot and you bring it closer to your sits bones, extend your left leg out and lift your hips. Here it is. As you do that, look through and lift your gaze. So it's a side bend, but it's also a core toner. It feels so good, right? I know, it's amazing. And calm down. And finding a very fluid way to transition. Walk your left hand forward. And as you tip the heel down, you'll feel, oh, I can lift my pelvis. Here you go. Bend your elbow. Go for a forward bend here. Inhaling and exhaling and drop the heel down. Press the left foot into the floor. Step your right foot to your left. Inhale, reach up, upward worship. Exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, sit low, chair pose. Exhale, fold in half. Standing forward, bend. Inhale, peel the chest open. And exhale, step your left leg back, coming into warrior two. This time, from a standing stance, open and set it up, heel and arch intersect. Find that energy. Breathe and expand, outwards and inwards. And then cartwheel the arms into the lunge. We'll go back to the arrow bind in one moment. But first, thread your right forearm under the right knee crease and clasp your left elbow. And feel that all goes into the left psoas. Inhale. Nice and spacious collarbone. Exhale. Now drop your left knee. Point your left foot up, lift your gaze, in and out, and one more, inhale and exhale, curl the back foot under, press the right hand to the floor, pyramid pose, square the hips, right hip back, left hip front, inhale forward, lunge, Nice and long spine. Tone up your belly. Exhale. 
pyramid pose. And now we're ready for warrior two and our arrow bind. Drop the left heel down, cartwheel the arms one more time. Set it up. Make sure your hips are leveled, right? So this happens all the time in warrior two. Bring the hips still level. Soften through the front ribs. Bend the front knee. Make sure the knee is not turned in. It's opening out. And expand. Right arm up. Left hand moves into the right scapula. All you got to do is bend the right elbow. And then here's the clasp. It looks rather odd, but actually clasp your hand and then twist and move your left elbow forward. And there you go, it's pretty seamless and it feels so good. It's such a good shoulder opener. Lift your gaze up, bend the front knee vigorously. Inhale and exhale. And one more breath. Now straighten the front knee, bend your left knee and flatten your spine. Ride the right elbow down to the floor. Inhale. Now take it into a contraction so you feel your lower back and your mid back actually stretching. And go all the way back up. Shorten the stance just a step in. And then hinge at the crease of your hip. Inhale and exhale and go a little bit deeper maybe. Here we go. Triangle with arabine, so much fun. Right hand rides down, left arm opens, only to try the next bind, kidney bind. So left hand moves to the right kidney, then lift up so you can press the right hand in and start to hinge. Eventually, you're going to bring the hands into the hinge and your elbow will line up with your knee and your left shoulder will open up. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your right knee is micro bent so you're not really collapsing in your joints. And right hand down, left hand down. Great job. Lower the knee down. Breathe in and out. Now turn your left chin so it's parallel to the front edge of the mat and perpendicular to your right heel. Cartwheel the arms. Here we are and warrior two on the other side. Breathe in and out and Right angle, bind, right? Right arm goes under. We keep the integrity of the spine. It's still an externally rotated pose. So you want to maintain that external rotation. And then the back arm will seamlessly ride back and down. Open the left shoulder, gaze up. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, open a little bit more and exhale, gaze down, transition, cup the floor with the right hand, reach your left arm all the way towards the back edge of your mat, close your left chin in. Breathe and flex the right foot, open here. Gather the energy. Bend the right knee. Now open through the right shoulder and gaze down at your left hand. The more you push your hips front, the more you bend through the mid back and you keep your lower back nice and long. Inhale and exhale. And extend the leg, flex the foot, open here into a side bend. 
Breathing in and out. And then slide your heel to the front edge of your mat and close your left chin in. Start to sit all the way down. Open. Grab the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. You can bend the knee and take a little cradle. We're going to do that fun pose on the other side, the lifted side bend propped on the elbow. So first, loosen up your hip. And then <clears throat> there we go. Left elbow down towards the side edge of the mat. Tip back. Step your left heel closer in to your left sit bone. And then as you tip to the right and you extend the leg out to the side, you're gonna lift your hips. And take a little bit of a twist. And once you're here, all you have to do is either stay here and enjoy that nice stretch of the spine or gaze through and peel your gaze up to the sky. Breathing in and out. And one more breath. And exhale. Great job. Very seamless transition. Right leg takes you all the way front. All you got to do is just travel with your right hand and feel the stretch in the pull. And if you want a deeper hamstring stretch, you can take it here or just drop your heel down. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, right heel down. Come to the top of the mat. Breathing in and out. And in and out. Stop the left foot in. One more pose we have to do on this side. Gently float your right knee up, standing pose. It was the half moon, remember? Lift the knee up and open the hip. Press the knee with your elbow, pushing up and down, and then point your left fingertips down. Keep on opening through the right hip. Shiva pose. And lower the heel down, baby triangle. And here's our fun transition to half moon pose because we're already there. We don't have to go anywhere. And press the hand to the side, gently about eight inches away. You can step your foot into the mat if you feel more comfortable doing it on the mat and then float your left leg up and open your heart. Inhale and exhale. And see if you can twist a little bit more. Beautiful. And exhale, step the foot to the outside edge of the mat. Come back into your squat. All the way. And now let's take that squat Exhale, contract into it. Reach the arms forward and seamlessly drop. You can close your heels just a teeny bit more. And let's see if we can do like, oh, there we go. Feet in, yogic toe lock, cone pose. Either here or find it for yourself. Inhale, shoulders down. Exhale, open through the heart. Can we lift our gaze up? Right into a bowed pose. Keep the yogic toe lock or let go of the yogic toe lock. Whatever feels comfortable at this stage of your practice. One last pose remaining before we come into the delicious relaxation. Bend the knees. Stretch your legs, stretch of the west, walk your hands to your tippy toes or to the side and take a full forward bend, fully neutral, nothing to think about, just a sense of letting go. 
And notice the whole body is releasing everything that holds it back, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, or even spiritual. What are the roadblocks and how can we turn those stumbling blocks into stepping stones? Finding that way to transform challenges into opportunities. And take one more breath and come all the way up. And we're going to skip relaxation pose and you can do it here if you want. And instead, we're just going to come and do a gratitude prayer here in a seated position. But feel free to take your Shavasana for as long as you need after this practice to soothe and replenish. And for now, let's do our mudra practice at the end of this sequence, hands to the heart. Open your heart, weaving your fingertips through your heart, expand outwards and offer your unique contribution to the world. And then bring the hands back to the heart. Inhale, open everything you have to the world around you. Your fingertips move all the way to your sacrum. And then exhale, create a little chalice out of all the gifts you want to offer and lift it up to the sky with gratitude and a sense of surrender. Let it shower upon you and then disperse around you. Reaching every point and corner of this world, your light, your shine, your contribution is now received. And all the bounty of this earth is coming your way. Bring the hands to the heart. Life now has your back. Open your eyes with that sense of gratitude and trust. Continue on your journey seamlessly with grace and grit. Thank you for your practice. You did great. If you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's much more to come and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Namaste.